Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you, your love life. We're going to see what's going on with your love life. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I'm going to say this. So when I was in the pre-shuffle, I asked Spirit, because for a lot of you guys, that a lot of you guys that watch me, oftentimes you're actually single, especially, the, especially you guys who actually watch me. Oh, I got my new hat. I wanted you guys to see my new hat. You see this? I love it. If you can see it, <laughs> um, I do love it, but it's kind of, you know, <laughs> of course it's extra. Um, for a lot of you guys, especially you guys that listen to me in the morning, a lot of you guys are single. And I ask spirit, why are you single? That was kind of, you know, I was thinking about it all day today. I was like, why is my Virgos single? And what came out, I'm actually looking for that two of cups. The two of cups came out first. That's why I'm playing with this deck because the two of cups actually fell out first. And that's telling me that for a lot of you guys, you're, you, there's a loss, a loss of someone that you felt a very strong connection with. So for a lot of you guys, that's why you're still single right now, present moment. And I'm only looking for this two of cups because I kept all the other cards out, but I stuck that two of cups back in there and I did not intend on doing that. That was just me. I was like, okay, I'm going to shuffle it. And then I was like, no, I said, I need to actually tell you guys exactly what I saw, okay? So the only card I took back out of here is this Two of Cups. This Two of Cups was the first card that popped out that talks about a soulmate, that talks about a partnership, that talks about a solid foundation. Somebody here that you have a very, when that Two of Cups come in, this is somebody here that you felt a very strong bond with, a very strong bond. But then... You know, we keep it going. We keep, we, I'm still like, okay, spirit, what's going on? Why is it? Because when this soulmate comes out, I'm like, okay, the question was, why is my Virgo still single? And when it tells me that you guys already found your person, a lot of you guys, like the person that you haven't gotten over someone, like that's kind of what I've been, that's kind of what I got from the cards. Second came out was that seven of swords. You see that? Then we had the Eight of Swords. It went from the Seven to the Eight of Swords. That energy is still present. That energy is still current. Then we went to the Nine of Swords. Then we went to the Nine of Swords. And then we had the Seven of Wands. This is telling me a lot of you guys, the reason why you're still single is because you're still hung up on something from the past. And whether you want the past or not want the past, wherever you are in the mix of the energy, there's a past connection that you have a past bond that you have with someone that's prohibiting you from moving forward. For some of you guys, you're like, no, I don't want. Like for some of you guys, nobody needs to even come your way because you are shut, like it's shut down to ching. Like, <laughs> like, like the energy is like, it ain't happening. Like you just, you're just done. For some of you guys, you are absolutely, absolutely done. Like, look at all this. You go from the seven to the eight to the nine of swords. When I asked the question, why is this soulmate in the reason why you are still single? It's talking about there's been, there was lies, there was cheating. There's a lack of trust in your energy. There's some deception that you've experienced. You've experienced the seven of swords. You've experienced it. Then we have the eight of swords. Is You still fucked up here. Some of you guys. Like, I'm not going to say all of you guys, but some of you guys are. Especially for you guys that are still single. Because, you know, I get these messages all the time. I get emails and people are single. And they're like, well, this message is not for me. Okay. So I was like, okay, let's ask that question. Let's start off with this energy. Why is my Virgo still single? 
And then we go to the Nine of Swords. Some of you guys, this keeps you up at night. Like, I'm telling you and love you. I'm telling you I love you because I'm going to tell you, like, for some of you guys, there's a past connection that has you all fucked up. Like, like they got you all in your head. Like, you still, for some of you guys, you still got nightmares over this. Like, for some of you guys, like, somebody here, somebody that you felt a very strong bond with, this person done you like you're done like like and i'm not saying like eventually you know in divine timing something else might happen everything and everything's in the universe's time everything's in god's timing everything is that's really and truly kind of like you know that's out of our hands when this feeling and when this emotion is going to change for you that's in a different time that's in a different time i have no say so over that i'm just telling you guys what i'm seeing and i see you being extremely extremely standoffish extremely extremely kind of guarded like because i feel like there's an energy here of some of you guys still being fucked up from something from your past. From a connection, whether it's past or current, because it's not telling me you're truly, truly past for some of you guys. There's a connection here for my Virgos that are still single. There's a connection here that you are still fucked up from. Excuse every bit of my language. Excuse every bit of my language. Yes. Show me, spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos and love Ooh, look at that we have that ace of swords in the reverse mm -hmm. with that temperance sagittarius energy there's a lack of trust there's conflict here a lack of trust conflict like this is telling me like gosh with the seven of wands again at the bottom of the deck with the seven of wands again at the bottom of the deck and with that temperance here some of you guys like there is i love you <laughs> i'm gonna say that to you guys i love you before i say it but from some of you guys your attitude is not nice <laughs> like with that temperance that talks about impatience imbalance like and it's like if you don't get your way, that's for someone here. And you could tell me that it's not you because you know how you can do this. You can flip and switch this energy however you see fit. But with that Ace of Swords, this talks about a lack of communication. It's because it came out in the reverse. It talks about a lack of communication. It talks about a lack of trust. It talks about conflict. It talks about that whatever the positive, whatever should be positive is not happening. Positive communication is not happening. Positive, like, just co communication for a lot of you guys. There's a lack of trust here. And the thing about it is, I feel like there's an energy here of kind of being stuck. Kind of being stuck. Stuck in your own head. Stuck in your own head. And the energy that I'm getting, and I'm going to, okay, so this is for my single Virgos. This is for my Virgos that you're single, you're not with anybody, you're not messing around with anybody, any of the above. And there is a lack of, like, you don't want to talk, <laughs> you're closed in, like, and some of you guys, your attitude's a little nasty. <laughs> like, some of you guys, your attitude's a little nasty, like... Uh, who want who who want to come to that <laughs> i love you though i'm just telling you that's exactly what these cards are telling me though real let's be real with it that's exactly what these cards are telling me and you're still extremely extremely guarded look at that nine of wands you're the wounded warrior you're the wounded warrior but i see this eight of wands the thing about it is and with the knight of pentacles here a lot of you guys you're fast track if you're single i'm gonna label this and i'm gonna do this is gonna be for my singles here and then i'll do something i'm gonna move forward with you guys who are in something or messing around or however this goes because i'm seeing like for some of you guys like you're single right now present moment but there is forward movement you're on the fast track to success so you ain't getting none <laughs> like you ain't getting nothing over there <laughs> but you're definitely on the fast track to success or there has been there's been progress. If you're not on the fast track to success, because I have that it's eight of wands with this knight of pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. You see that? I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you're not, 
your love life, you may not have nothing. Pasi Lala, nothing's going on over there. <laughs> but in terms of your material wealth, your 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 money, your career, your work, your job, it's you're working. You're working. There's been some slow, steady progress. Some of you guys, things are starting to pick up momentum for you when it comes to your money, when it comes to success. That's where a lot of you guys are at. That's where a lot of you guys, that's where you're moving. That's where your focus is at. Because when it comes to you being with somebody else, <laughs> that's a no-go. Like, that's a no-go. Can't pass go. Like, don't pass go. Don't collect $200. Go straight to jail. <laughs> that's a no-go. That's a very, very strong energy. That's a very strong energy. I still see this Nine of Swords to this Eight of Swords to this Seven of Swords. Look at that. I'm still like, I dealt these cards. And with the Four of Pentacles, you're not able to let go of, look at this. Look at these cards. Exactly what it's telling me. It's telling me like, you guys, the reason why you're single is because you can't let go of this Five of Cups. Disappointment, regret. This is like playing like, you know, you're making yourself, for some of you guys, look, you may not agree. Okay, fine, whatever. But the thing about it is you're making yourself sad. You're, and this is like a pity party. For some of you guys, you staying stuck in this posture, you just, you know what I'm getting? Like, you just kind of gave up. Like, you just kind of gave up. You just kind of gave up. Like, that's all I'm getting in this energy is like, you just kind of gave up. That's a strong energy. That's a strong energy. Yeah. All right, my loves. So for my Virgos, that, let's, let's, stick, let's stick with you singles. Let's stick with you singles just a little bit longer. <laughs> I was about to move on, but I'm like, Spirit is like, uh-uh, Tanya. <laughs> Spirit is like, nah-uh. <laughs> Show me what I need to see for my single Virgo spirit. Show me. I don't know what that card says. We'll see. Show me. This is for my single Virgos. Petty, jealousy, envy. Some of you guys, the person that you have this bond with, they moved on. And you not happy about that. Mm -mm. tragedy forbidden love look at that there's been a tragic connection a truly tragic connection and look at that gossip petty jealousy envy for some of you guys yeah you could be actually keeping notes journals like some of you guys you could actually be investigating this person like watching this person stalking this person like watching tarot readings getting readings on this person because, and I'm talking about, are we still on my single Virgos? Because I'm like, why y'all still single? Because when I get those messages and they be like, well, this message ain't meant for me. I ain't got nobody. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, so then I'm like, okay, so we're going to do this. I'm like, if you, if, obviously, let's do this. Obviously, if you ain't got nobody, that reading ain't for you. But when you tell it to me, <laughs> then I'm like, okay, well then why are you single? Why you ain't got nobody? I, then I'm like, okay, well, then I want to know why you don't have nobody. And this is what Spirit is showing me. Spirit is showing me that you don't have anybody because there's still a lot of unhealed energy from somebody that fucked you over. And like somebody that got you all jacked up. And the thing about it is, that person's winning. That person's winning. That person, from what I'm seeing, they moving on with their shit. And you're still stuck in limbo. You're still stuck in this person's negative energy. In this person's karma. That's not benefiting you. That's not making you, that's not bringing joy into your life. And look, if this message is not for you, my loves, please don't take this message. But this is the energy that I'm getting. And I'm saying this to you because I love you and because I want you to understand whoever this message is for. I want you to understand, don't lie, allow someone, first and foremost, this person apparently did you wrong. We saw that seven of swords twice already. We saw the eight of swords and we saw that nine of swords. So this person, they apparently did you wrong. So, okay, that's, that's, that's one, that's one, that's one loss for you. Okay. Then this person, they left you, you left them. That's another loss for you because you do, you, you. There was a strong partnership. There was a strong bond between you and this person. But then when it gets to strike three, 
you still hung up on that situation. This person still has control over your life. That's strike three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, like, and for some of you guys, you're still watching, trying to figure out what this person has going on. For some of you guys, you spend a lot of time still talking about this person. For some of you guys, you want answers that you searching for answers about what's going on with this person from everybody and from every different direction because this person ain't disclosing. This person's not disclosing. And for some of you guys, you're a little bitter. I love you. Look, guys, I love you. But some of you guys, you are, you are still a little bitter. There's some pettiness, there's some jealousy, and there's some envy because for some of you guys, this person could have moved on and you're still stuck. You're still stuck in limbo. That's a strong, strong energy. Yeah. All right, my loves. Let's move on from that. Let's move on from that. And now for my Virgos, where you're in something. You're in something and let's say it's, it's good. It's good. It's relatively new, fresh. You could have just come back together. But I'm getting like, I have some Virgos right now, present moment. I'm getting an energy like you could, you, you really and truly could truly be in something that's bringing a little bit of excitement into your life. Show me spirit, show me what's currently going on with my Virgos that is in something, whatever that something is. Show me for my Virgos that's in something right now, present moment. Hmm. Wow, I see you guys walking into, that's your card, the Hermit. That's your card, absolutely walking into the light here. Why do I, a lot of you guys are going towards commitment. You see the Hierophant, strong Taurus energy? A lot of you guys are going towards commitment. A lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. There's a spiritual balance. Look at this. Look at this person praying over this person. For some of you guys, this is someone here that you have prayed for. for. Definitely for some of you guys, this is someone here that you have prayed for. Well, that's some nice, nice energy. I also see this Ten of Pentacles. You guys are actually headed into the right direction. You guys are actually headed into the right direction. That's some pretty, pretty nice energy. Yeah, that's some pretty nice energy. I'm going to show you guys all of these cards because they're so, so nice. I also have the Knight of the Knight of Swords. Talks about fast action, a lot of communication. Wow, I see that Hermit. I see the Moon. You're you're trying to stay strong, but you guys are going towards this Ten of Pentacles. You're going towards your Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that is some nice energy. I have all majors here, except for this 10 of pentacles. Give me a sec. All right, yes, okay. All right, so the thing about it is, for you guys, you're in something right now, present moment. You're moving into this, this head is tight on this head of mine. <laughs> you know, I got a big head. <laughs> all right, so for you guys that are in something right now, present moment, you're moving towards commitment, true, true commitment. So we have, we have the moon, we have the Hierophant, we have Temperance, Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and we have the Hermit. Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces energy. You're moving towards a higher commitment. You're moving towards a higher commitment. Um, for a lot of you guys, you are trying to, you're really and truly trying to figure out, I'm getting an energy of some of you guys trying to slow this down. I, I'm getting that kind of in the energy, trying to slow this down. For a lot of you guys, you're not disclosing this new connection. You're not public like this. You're not making it public. For a lot of you guys, I'm definitely getting you're not making it public. For some of you guys, you feel some type of way about this connection in the sense that you see 
that it's moving into a direction of commitment. You want commitment. But I'm getting like you may be trying to be a little reserved in this energy or this could be the person that's in your energy trying to be reserved. It talks about divine, in divine timing. The thing about it is if you're in something right now, present moment, and listen to your intuitions. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to listen to your intuitions. I feel like there's, there's going to be a conversation between you and this person relatively soon relatively soon there's going to be a conversation between you and this person because the way that you feel this person feels the same the way that you feel this person feels the same for a lot of you guys i do like this person's energy this person could be if you're dealing with a masculine energy this person could be older than you older mature somebody here that people look up to somebody that tends to be in control in control of their life in control of their shit. this is somebody here that is meant to be head of household this is somebody here that's meant to be head of household I'm getting, I'm getting like, there's a lot of intelligence between you and this person. There's, there's a seduction. There is a seduction between you and this person. There's also a spiritual connection between you and this person. But I'm also getting hiding emotions to people not trying to show their hands or truly like, there's an anxiousness in this energy. There's an anxiousness in this energy, like, but I see a conversation happening. I do see a conversation happening between you and this person on how you're going to be moving forward. On how you're going to be moving forward because you and this person, you both, you both, I'm getting like you both feel the same. I like the intellect between you and this person. I like the spiritual bond between you and this person. We saw Virgo. We saw Pisces, Cancer. We saw Aries. Who else did I see? I saw Sagittarius. Yeah, I like that energy though. I did. I really, really like that energy between you and this person. How does this new person or this person that my Virgo is dealing with, how does this person truly feel about my Virgo? Mm. Mm. So we have, we have death with the... Ace of Wands. <laughs> for some of you guys, if you've slept with this person already, for some of you guys, because that the way it came out, for some of you guys, if you slept with this person already, this person wants this to continue happening. And the I'm getting like it may have not been oh so exciting. Like this is kind of like it's not over and done with, though. Like that's what I'm kind of getting in this energy. It's not over and done with. But with that death in the reverse and that ace of wands in the reverse, I'm getting like, if you've slept with this person already, it's not over and done with. Like, this is like, try, try, try again. <laughs> like, that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. Like, try, try, try again. Yes. Um, for some of you guys, you haven't slept with this person. There is still some unfinished business between you and this person. And I feel like, It's just unfinished business between you and this person. This is not over with. Whether you've slept with this person or not, this is not over with. This is not over with. Because for some of you guys, you haven't slept with this person. I'm actually seeing that you have not. But for some of you guys, there's an energy here of like the spark just wasn't there though. Like it's kind of, that's kind of bothering me. Like, you know, the spark just wasn't there. Yeah, but you, you're going to try again. Like y'all going to keep trying. There's a try, try, try again. Look at that, the will of fortune. You see that it's gonna it's gonna get better. <laughs> Strong Sagittarius energy. It's gonna the, your sex life with this person is gonna be good. Your sex life with this person is going to be good. It just may the spark just may not be where you want it to be right now, present moment. That's kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like this is on this person's side. Yeah. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles came out in the reverse. This is on that person's side. They may have not given their all. They, they may have not, you know what I'm just, I keep seeing this Ace of Wands. And this is telling me like, this is this talks about performance. It talks about sex. It talks about passion between you and this person. But with that Knight of Pentacles that came out in the reverse, like this could be, this could truly be your energy. I also have Scorpio here. But it, what it's telling me is that this is underperformance. That Knight of Pentacles talks about an underperformance. There is an underperformance here between you and this person. Yeah, but look at the chariot. Cancer energy. So this is not over and done with. Things are going to get 
when it's when it comes to passion between you and this person it's going to get better it's going to get better and i feel like i think i picked this up for you guys a while back this person has a point to prove this per, this person has to correct something that's kind of what i'm getting in that energy yeah i feel like i picked this up for you guys already i do believe show me how does my virgo feel about this person how does my virgo feel about this person oh the king of wands <laughs> so you're very very attracted to, to this person very attracted also with justice here you want this person you want commitment with this person i feel like whoever this is you you choose this person every every time like i get you choosing this person every single time like i get you choosing this person and I feel like you're going to give it to this person just as good as you're going to get it. This talks about balance, that, that, that strong Libra energy with that King of Wands. Like you're very attracted to this person. This person could be an entrepreneur. Really and truly, this person could be an entrepreneur. They could be their own boss. They could be like, like a, a boss, a head of a business or something like that, or an entrepreneur itself. But I'm definitely getting the energy for some of you guys. Yes, this person could be in, in, work in the legal field as well. But with the Justice card here and that King of Wands, like I feel like you yourself, you would choose this person every single time. You like this person. You like this person a lot. For a lot of you guys, you actually see yourself marrying this person. You see yourself committing to this person with that Justice card. And for some of you guys, you're so attracted to this person, you would choose this person every single time. And for some of you guys, even if this person underperformed, you're still going to give them another chance. <laughs> like you're still that attracted to this person. You're still that attracted to this person. Let's see. Is this person going to reach out to my Virgos? I'm just winging it this evening. Is this person going to reach out to my Virgos? Yes, they are. Yes, they are because you are a divine individual. Because you are a divine individual, this person is extremely, you're very good looking to this person. You're very good. Look at five of wands. That's competition here. There's competition this person's worrying about. This person is worrying about, I feel like I picked it up yesterday. This person is so worried about somebody else getting you. Yeah, you're going to hear from this person. With that, with that uh, Empress card, this is telling me like you are a divine individual. You're going to hear from this person. I'm also looking at that high priestess here. You're a divine individual. Your intuition is telling you you're going to hear from this person. You're going to hear from this person because there's so much desire. This person desires you greatly. You look real good to this person. And this person knows that there's competition here. This person fears that there's competition here. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Oh yeah, this person's coming. Four of wands. They may show up to your house. This person may actually show up to your house. We have the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming in. Yep, with the with the Ace of Pentacles with an offer. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands. For some of you guys, you got two different people coming in. For some of you guys, you got two different people coming in. There is competition here. We have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, and we have Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. For some of you guys, you're playing around with two different people. For some of you guys, there's two different people here in this energy. For some of you guys, there's somebody here. They're coming in with an offer or a gift. Somebody here that's coming in with an offer or a gift itself. And for some of you guys, this is somebody here that you've already slept with. You've already been intimate with this person. I see somebody popping up to somebody's house as well. But showing up, you got an offer. A lot of you guys, you have an offer here. Because somebody knows that there's competition here. Somebody knows that there's competition here. Your values with this eight of pentacles, you have your value. This talks about your, you, you're educated. You work hard. Like, and I feel like this person, they recognize that they appreciate this energy that you have. You're very, you're very much so a divine individual, whether you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine. And you look real good. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of attraction with you. A lot of attraction with you. Seven of Pentacles, you have options. 
You have options and this person knows you have you have options. And this person's coming. You're going to hear from this person. I don't know how, what you got going on. What y'all got. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going on. I didn't even ask Spirit about what y'all really got going on. Because I just want to. <laughs> so it's like I'm limiting. <laughs> limiting what I want to find out. <laughs> but yeah, this person's coming. This person's coming. Yeah. Show me Spirit. For my Virgos that's dealing with somebody. What do I need to see? For my Virgos that's dealing with someone, what do I need to see? You could have met this person online. You could have met this person online. And I also have desire, lust, and sexual chemistry. Look at that. For some of you guys, the person that you're that the person that wants that's desiring you so much, this person could be stalking you too. <laughs> Like, you know, sometimes I talk to y'all like I'm talking to my friends and I laugh just like I laugh when they're talking to me because when they tell me stuff, I'm like, what happened? I'm like, I'm like what happened? If y'all would be surprised how many people call people. Everybody comes to talk to me, actually. And they know, first things first, look, if you're a friend of mine, I'm going to tease you before I give you advice. Like, I'm gonna be like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to still like, then I'm going to be like, okay, let's get serious. <laughs> I can't get serious right now though. But yes, for a lot of you guys, there's someone here. They may hit you up online. Like really and truly, you got somebody in your energy. This person could truly be stalking you. Somebody's desiring you greatly, like greatly. There's a lot of desire, a lot of lust. Who is this person? Who is this person that's desiring my Virgo? Focus, somebody eyes for you, fascinated and watching you. I'm telling you, there's somebody that's like serious, seriously desiring you, seriously stalking you, seriously have their eyes on you, trying to figure out what you got going on. This person's trying to figure out what you got going on and look how much they are like craving you. Look at that because they want to talk to you. You could have this person for somebody here. You could actually have this person blocked. For some of you guys, this person that's desiring you like this, you could have this person blocked. But I'm more so worried about the person that you're in good standings with. It says, pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. I feel like for some of you guys, there's somebody here that you're in good standings with. You and this person, there's an alignment between you and this person. Like, you could be two of the same sign. You could, like, there is, there's something about meeting this person. I'm getting almost like by chance, but the way that it aligned, it aligned perfectly. You're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to know exactly what I'm talking about because you realize, you recognized it when it happened. You recognize it when it happened. Show me spirit. Yeah, chaser, hot pursuit. Somebody's on a pursuit for you. Somebody's on a pursuit for you. Yeah, somebody from your, oh, oh, I know y'all. <laughs> You know why sometimes when 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 I when things come about and it shows a past of anything, even I get upset for y'all. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes y'all want that, but I'm a Virgo too, and so I'm like, but no, nobody wants that. <laughs> but look at this. For some of you guys, you got somebody here from your past, like, and they're coming. Like this person's coming. And the thing about it is this person's coming and you got somebody else. You've already moved on from this person. You've already moved on from this person. Look, see the past already. The past is the past. But that person's stalking you. But you've already moved on to this new person. This new person, show me. Show me this new person. I keep trying to pull you away from the other person. Not facing the truth, irrational and reasoning. Somebody is irrational. Mm, you know what I just got? Financial support, alimony, child support. For some of you guys, you know, instantly what I had just got. Yeah, bottom of the deck, pregnancy. For some of you guys, your new person is in for a shocker. You know why they're in for a shocker? And look, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. <laughs> because you still want to play around with this past person. <laughs> yeah, for some of you guys, like you yourself, you could truly be in denial. 
like you could truly be trying to you could have started something else but if if that past person come in come in like if they get in through the door you would still play around with that past person that message is meant for someone them cars don't lie them cars don't lie that message is not meant for everybody that message is not meant for everybody but I see financial support for some of you guys. This new person. I don't like this. <laughs> for some of some, for someone here. We're gonna say for someone because I don't want this, I don't want this energy for none of y'all. <laughs> We're gonna say for someone. This new person is in need. Like this new person doesn't have anything to offer. For someone here, this new person doesn't have anything to offer. For someone here, and when I say, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting, for some of you guys, I'm still picking up on someone that you've already dealt This is not new. This is someone that you've been dealing with. This is not new. This is someone that you've been dealing with. So for some of you guys, there's someone here that you have been off and on with for a while. Like, for some of you guys, this person, this energy that I'm picking up on, this is somebody that you've been off and on with for a while. And for some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody here that has somebody pregnant or they got somebody pregnant while they, while you've been dealing with them. And now they're facing child support, alimony issues, dealing with a baby mama, a baby daddy. And you're in the mix of it because you and this person, y'all been doing this. Y'all been going back and forth. And you're the person, I'm telling you, you're not facing the truth of the matter, though. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, for a lot of you guys, this is that's a that's actually a big energy. That's actually a big energy. For a lot of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here and you've been back and forth with this person for a while. You've been back and forth with this person for a while. For some of you guys, yes, you could have met somebody new online. I'm definitely getting online. And... For some of you guys, yes, you've already slept with this person. Okay, I see this in this energy. For someone here, please be careful. You will get pregnant. Whether you want it or not, you will get pregnant. You'll know, you'll know if you can even still have children. You're going to definitely, definitely know. I do see the past coming back in though. I do see unfinished business here with the past. Who is this person from your past? Let's see. Who is this person from my Virgo's past that keeps wanting to come in here? Who is this person from my Virgo's past that keeps wanting to come in? I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. Two of Pentacles. Somebody here that was juggling. Somebody here that was juggling you with justice. Somebody here that they want, they want you. Strong Libra energy. This could have been somebody here that you were married to or somebody here that you are married to. For some of you guys, this could definitely be somebody here that you have child, you have children with. This could definitely be somebody here that you have children with, somebody here that needs your help. For a lot of you guys, it's somebody here that needs your help. That's a strong energy to this past person. But this person was juggling you. For some of you guys, this person made a baby or, or somebody pregnant or somebody got pregnant. Yeah, because I keep looking at this, this entrapment and this pregnancy. Yeah, strong energy, strong energy. This person that my Virgo met online, tell me about this person, Spirit. Tell me about this person. Wow, shit. <laughs> so we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. What'd that tell me? <laughs> Give me a second. All right, and then we have the Six of Wands. So this is the thing. If you have been messing with somebody that you met online, you may, if you've already slept with this person, you met this person online, you've already slept with this person, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Because what I'm getting in this energy is that first and foremost that you and this person this is like giving me an energy of like two different backgrounds is giving me an energy of two different classes of individuals is giving me an energy of two different clashes of individuals but that six of pentacles in the reverse that's telling me that somebody is not getting an equal return 
Like for somebody here, like you're not getting that reciprocity in bed. You're not getting that reciprocity in going out on dates. Like for some of you guys, this is giving me an energy. Like you may, you may be dealing with somebody here that they only show up for you in the evenings. Like that's what I'm really and truly getting in this energy. For some of you guys, you have way more than this person has to offer you. For some of you guys, this person, now I asked about the person that you met online. I asked about the person that you met online. This may resonate. It may not resonate. Six of Wands, but that Six of Wands came out. They'd smack on that floor. All cockeyed. <laughs> all cockeyed. And yeah. Like this is telling me like I'm dealing with an imbalance between you and this person. That Six of Pentacles came dead smack out in the reverse on this table. There is no reciprocity here. You're not getting that equal give and take here. You're giving it way better than you're getting it. You let me know. <laughs> That's why I was like, you let me know. <laughs> Show me. Nine of Swords. Oof, gosh. <laughs> Look at this card. Look at this man looking at his reflection in the mirror. After you, this is how you feel. This is how you feel the next day. Nine of Swords stressed out anxiety somebody here you are stressed out somebody here you may actually find out you're pregnant for somebody you barely know <laughs> you may find because i keep looking at this card <laughs> like you may find out that you're pregnant for somebody i'm laughing but it, i know i understand <laughs> like you may truly find out that you're pregnant for somebody here that you barely know i'm like what this is like giving me like what the fuck did i do for somebody here, you could have messed with somebody and there's like so much regret here. And there's like, oh my God, what did I do? For somebody here, you messed around with somebody here. You didn't even know how much of a crackerjack this person was. <laughs> like, like you didn't even know how much of a crackerjack this person was. But you're finding out. <laughs> you're definitely, definitely finding out. That's a strong energy. That's a strong energy. Yeah. Two of Swords. Somebody here, you may have to put a restraining order on someone here, or this is like you having to protect yourself from somebody. I'm telling you, somebody here, you didn't realize how much of a crackerjack this person was. You didn't know. You didn't play around with that person and you didn't know. <laughs> like, I'm laughing, but it ain't funny because you didn't know. Who is this person that's desiring my Virgos so much, Spirit? Who is this person that's desiring my Virgos? Mm, the Hierophant, somebody here that is either married or they want a commitment with you. Strong Taurus energy, but with the Three of Cups in the reverse, this person could be married. This person could be married, or this could be somebody here that you don't want to that you don't want to fuck with anymore. But with that Ace of Chalice, this person is coming in. This person is coming back with that Ace of Chalice, that Ace of Cups. This person is this person wants. This person wants to try it again. Or this person wants to try it. This person has caught feelings. Now, this could be somebody here that's married for some of you guys. Or somebody here that wants a commitment, but you don't want to, you don't want to fuck with them anymore. That's what I'm getting in this energy. But this person has caught feelings. This person has feelings with this ace of chalice. This person has feelings. And what is this? My knight of pentacles. Yeah, you ain't playing with this. You 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 still don't want to mess with this person. You still don't want to mess with this person. With the seven of wands, you're still extremely guarded. I'm hearing like they can want me all they want. <laughs> like that's what I'm hearing. They can want me all out all they want. Yeah, with the seven of seven of pentacles, you're not giving. You already wasted too much time and energy with this person. This person that's lusting and what that you have so much chemistry with, like you've already wasted so much time and energy with this person. There's there's a there's no return. Look at that. For some of you guys, it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. For some of you guys, it could definitely be a, Vir a, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person's caught feelings. This person, this person's caught feelings. For some of you guys, this person could be committed somewhere else. They could be in a relationship already. Because I do see this, I do see, I'm looking at these cards. And yeah, you, you're done with this person. Like you are done with this person. You're absolutely done with this person. Who's in denial? Oh, wow. Queen of Chalice, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, oh, the Knight of Pentacles. That's your um, Page of Pentacles. This is someone here that doesn't have anything to offer you. 
So there's someone here that's in denial. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, queen of, queen of cups as your queen of chalice. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is someone here. They're in denial. They love you, but they don't have anything to offer you. They love you, but they don't have anything to offer you. Yeah. They don't have anything to offer you. Why is that here, though? Why is that Nine of Pentacles here? Because what's what? Why was that? Why is that relevant? Ace of Wands. They only want they they only want a good time. This person only they want they this person just wants this person just want to. <laughs> I do try my best not to cuss, <laughs> but really, real, really, this person just want to mess around with you. They just really and truly want to mess around with you. They don't have anything to offer you. I don't like a lot of these people's energy. <laughs> like, like, I don't like a lot of these people's energy. With all honesty, I'm getting like a lot of you guys, you're too good for a lot of the people that you're messing with. You're too good for a lot of these people that you are messing with. For a lot of you guys. Yeah. Let's see. This new person. Give me new person's energy. New person's energy. Eight of Swords. This top for some of you guys. Who is this? Ten of Swords. We're going from the eight, eight of swords to the ten of swords. <laughs> that eight of swords talks about mental prison. Somebody could truly be in prison. For some of you guys, you know what I'm, what I'm instantly getting? Like, whoever this new person that's in here, you don't know this person like you think you know this person. You do not know this person like you think you know this person. Um, but I'm also getting, for someone here, it can't get no worse. You've experienced, it's like you, this, this, this new person is not as bad as the last person. And ain't that something? Because this new person... Might be a little, a little something, a little something special. <laughs> this new person might be a little something special, but still this new person is not as bad as that last person that you had. Still this new person is not as bad as that last person you had. No, not at all. Not at all. Let's see. How does my Virgo's person feel about my Virgo? How does my Virgo's person feel about my Virgo? I'm trying to pass up all this energy, pulling in all sorts of energy right now. <laughs> How does my Virgo's person feel about my Virgo? Fatal events. What the world? What's what y'all got going on today? <laughs> all right. Fatal event. Intimate date. Deception. And watching you. Okay, so we have, I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. So somebody really, really messed up. Somebody really, really messed up. Intimate date, let's go out, have a drink or two and have a little fun. And here they come right on back around. Here they come right on back around. We have deception. I lied to you because I'm afraid of the choices you'll make. With that same old BS. With the same old BS. And then we have watching you, watching you on your social media lights up my mood. You see, I'm sassy. <laughs> I'm sassy. I'd be like, I <laughs> I'd be like, don't watch my page because I don't want to lighten up your mood. <laughs> oh my loves. Oh my loves. They got a lot of people. <laughs> y'all have a lot of people interested in y'all. Let's okay, let's 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 okay, let's brush off the silliness. Okay. Y'all got a lot of people interested in y'all. Okay, fine. A lot of a lot of these options aren't good though. A lot of these options aren't good. Please listen to your intuitions. Please listen to your intuitions. And for some of you guys, I'm telling you, take it a little slow. Like you're hopping into somebody, not not all of you guys, hopping in bed with people y'all barely know. Like, and the thing about it is, for some of you guys, you got somebody that may try to entrap you. For some of you guys, I'm telling you, especially when you're dealing with that online, because I definitely got the two different energies was online, 
Whereas there's someone here that is trying to entrap somebody, but not only that, there's someone here, this person a little cray cray, whether they're masculine or feminine energy, they're not, they're not all the way there. And you're going to get a whole lot more than what you bargained for. <laughs> like, like you're going to get a whole lot more than what you bargained for. And there's a lot of people who want to mess with you. A lot of people who want what you got. And you know, the thing about it is that's your energy too. That's a transfer of energy. There's a lot of people that want what you have, but you saw that card. I showed you, I showed you your energy level after the event, however you want to say this. And it's like, you're there's it's like just look take it as it resonates that's all i'm gonna say take it as it resonates i showed you guys you can rewind all the way back all the way back you can rewind because i'm gonna pull this card you can rewind all the way back to this card that i showed you guys of you and i want you to i want you to tell me if this relates at all if this relates at all I want you to put in the comments, you ain't got to say yes, you ain't got to say no, you ain't got to say yay, nay, any of the above. I'm looking for this card because I want you guys to tell me if this relates to you, if you felt this way, if this relates to you, you felt this way, put what we're going to put, we're going to put an eight ball. Put an eight ball in the comments. If you relate, if you relate to this feeling, this nine of swords here. Yep, that's our nine of swords. If you relate, if you understand what I'm saying to you when I show you this nine of swords, put an eight ball in the comments. We're going to do that. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I love every last one of you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Until next time. Bye, guys.